Okay, so what do you do if you want a good old juicy burger and you don't have any ground meat? Grind it up yourself. So I'm going to use my blender. And I have some chicken breast that I have cleaned. And I'm going to put it in my blender. I'm going to grind it up. And then um, we're going to season it. So... Let's get started. So throw in the chicken. I put on the top. My blender is on and now I'm going to pulse it a few times. Okay, so I won't keep you all on because it's kind of noisy. So I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so I got the meat all ground up. And now I'm going to put it in a bowl and add some seasoning. And then we're going to throw these bad boys in the air fryer. So hold on. Okay, so I have the meat already ground up. Now we're going to layer in some flavor. I'm going to put a little ketchup in there. You know, since this is all breast meat, and so which means it's very lean, and you know breast meat can kind of dry out sometimes, so we got to layer it, try to keep it moist. I'm going to throw in some uh, Worcestershire sauce. Okay, I guess that's about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half. I have some um, garlic and herb. And you know, if you don't have these uh, seasonings, just kind of look in your cupboard and see what you have and start throwing it in there. Okay. <clears throat> and, and your seasoning to taste. I have some seasoned salt. And last but not least, bam, an egg. And now I'm going to mix it up. You know, when I was growing up, my grandmother always put an egg into her burgers or her ground beef or back then it was mostly ground beef and um that was supposed to keep the burgers nice and juicy so i'm adding it to this chicken breast and now we're going to make some patties and throw them into the air fryer okay be right back okay i have my burgers in the air fryer i did spray the air fryer basket because i don't have any um parchment paper inside so let's get over to the fryer okay so let me turn on the fryer I'm going to put it at 400 for I'm going to say 10 minutes um, I'm going to check it at 5 so I'll be right back okay I flipped the burgers over at 5 minutes and remember these are um, this is ground up chicken breast so you wouldn't expect it to be all brown and everything. But it's uh, coming along. So let me put them back in. I'm going to keep them in for another five minutes. Be right back. Okay, don't these burgers look amazing? And they smell really good with that um, garlic herb seasoning. And I, to be on the safe side, I checked the internal temperature of the fattest burger. And it is just right. Okay, let's get this burger assembled here. I lay my Miracle Whip on my burgers.
put a little lettuce, tomato and onion. Oh, I like a lot of onion. Okay, lettuce, tomato, and onion. And I'm going to put some cheese on top. I'm gonna, this is pepper jack cheese. I melted a little pepper jack cheese on top. Okay, guys. Uh-oh. It's a big burger here. Look at my plate. I also roasted some potatoes. How you doing? Okay, let me taste this. I got my hat on. It's cold outside. Today it's cold. Tomorrow it will be in the 70s. Well, that's weather here. What can you say? All right, let me get this burger. Well, guys, yummy, yummy. Freshly ground chicken. Making a chicken burger. Phoebe is out.